Hi Jamie, it's Jason. It's Monday night here in Japan, and uh, I reckoned today that I have to get uh, more effective and faster at editing these videos, otherwise I'm going to uh, start to find excuses not to fit video making into my actually kind of really busy schedule. Entropy is the arrow of my life. The thing is, I was thinking about what to talk about tonight, and I kind of hit on a big one. I want to talk about adulthood. I reckon that everybody has a different idea of adulthood. Some people consider themselves adults after they graduate high school. I mean, some people are even parents when they graduate high school, so yeah, they kind of need to be adults. I met handfuls of people my age in college who were certainly more mature than me, and I even met people my age who thought that they were adults at that time, and those two groups tended to be mutually exclusive. Equating the beginning of adulthood with the administering of a social right like graduation or confirmation isn't a bad idea in and of itself. Though for myself, I never felt more officially mature for having donned a cap and gown and walked from the stage area to the exit area of an auditorium. During graduation ceremonies, though, commencement speakers usually fall into one of two uh, generally Venn diagram-like overlapping categories. They either, one, celebrate the abstract and hypothetically limitless creativity of the graduating class, for example, that Steve Jobs commencement speech at Stanford, or two, they warn of the perils and disappointments most of the students are likely to face upon graduating and entering the real world, with college debt and a bad job market and incompetent bosses and crappy coworkers who bully you and you thought that you were finished with bullying because you went to college and it wasn't there, except it's always there, it's just not where you were for the last four years. Or five. Or six. I recently watched a commencement speech by John Green, a novelist and famous vlogger here on YouTube who was half the inspiration for starting these video letters with you. I really liked his advice. He talked about how in stories, books, and movies, the journey of the hero is one from weakness to strength. But in fact, we should aspire to the opposite, that the journey of the true person is one from strength to weakness, from power and pride to humility and empathy. Take Harry Potter, Luke Skywalker, Frodo Baggins, Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This wasn't a tricky speech like the You're Not Special speech that was making the rounds a few months back, though that speech is also worth a watch. This was a call to the students to accept the life that they would soon be living. A lot of them would be working in low-pay, uncreative positions, if they were working at all. A call to them not to consider themselves failures for not snagging what's considered to be a great career just the first few months or years out of college, but to use the experience to become better people. And I rather like that advice. John Green was knocking down the idea that life is a ladder of success. He was saying life is a walk to be remembered, and only by accepting and uh, realizing our own journey into weakness can we be capable of accepting life as it is. Uh, since we have so little ultimate control over our success or failure as defined by the so-called successful people that we see on TV. Now, science seems to suggest that adulthood begins sometime in your late 20s. Scientists used to believe that the brain stopped developing after adolescence, except recent research suggests that it continues developing, quote, well into your 20s. Which, looking back over the last decade from my perch here at the end of the 20s, seems about right. And even though this isn't based off of anything except for my own gut feeling, it's only been in the last couple of years that I've begun to feel adulty, if that makes any sense. Some of it's good. I naturally, guttily, feel more confident about the decisions I make. Some of, some of it's bad. I'm noticing some definite grumpiness uh, creeping into my professional life. It's not like I've never been grumpy before this, but it's something deeper than that. It's chemical. I can feel it sort of pulsating in my DNA. It's not a simple mood swing. I can sort of feel it deeper than that. Uh, basically, it feels like it feels like how Pap acted whenever he was uh, whenever he was grumpy, which was most of the time. And uh, and I sort of feel myself turning into that, which makes sense, I guess. He and I both exist on the same family tree, which stretches back beyond any living memory or written record that we're ever likely to learn about. And that's important to keep in mind when evaluating yourself. Oh my gosh, the door is open now. What happened? Inside of both of us are thousands of generations of moms and dads, each with their own strengths and weaknesses, that came together to form what would eventually become us. Uh, it makes it easy to give yourself a break once in a while. And that brings me to my preferred definition of adulthood, an understanding and appreciation of what's in you, what's in the world, where you came from, and where you want to go. These are the cardinal points of the human compass, and our relative success or failure in life not financial success, but the real stuff, the ability to be content with what you have and who you are, 
depends, I think, a good deal on our willingness to engage that compass honestly in the managing and charting of the course of our lives. I'm not very good at using that compass yet, but I am willing, and I hope that I'm meagerly succeeding in wasting fewer moments every day in my pursuit to become good at pointing this ship called me in the right direction. Good luck on your daily journeys too, brother. See you tomorrow. Ay, 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 smoke. 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 Do you see? Smoke. Why are you trying to kill me? This heater. Smells like death. <laughs> we have to open the window. I didn't move you hard, Heater. I just moved you softly. Why did you make it so angry, Heater? Crikey. Trying to make a video here.